This is a C1 level news, so I will be talking English only, and I will talk around C1 levels. Let's start. Quite quitting. A new culture of work has been quietly spreading around offices, factories, and workplaces worldwide. worldwide. Here, spread, you are probably familiar with this, you probably know this because of the pandemic and corona. Spread, it means go all over the place. If something is going all over the place, if something is going everywhere, if something is everywhere, it is spreading. Okay. If uh, a new culture of work has been spreading and worldwide, uh, you should also know that you, you should also know this worldwide. But it means all over the world, right? If I say citywide, it's all over the city. If I say countrywide, it's all over the country, etc. Workers are increasingly embracing the concept of quiet quitting. Increasingly embracing. Embrace it means accept be familiar with it and um, increasingly embrace it means more and more increasingly it means more and more and decreasingly it means less and less so what are they embracing they are embracing the concept of quiet quitting so what is this concept let's see this emerging phenomenon emerging means new it's it, it, uh, it appeared newly right it's a new thing this uh, this emerging phenomenon entails workers slowly abandoning doing things that are not part of their contract so what is this so entail means includes so this includes this phenomenon includes that workers slowly ab abandon means uh, stop doing or leave someone is also abandoned for example so for example if you leave your girlfriend boyfriend husband wife whatever uh, you you then abandoned them so that's abandoning and here they these people are not abandoning people but they are abandoning doing things so they are stopping doing things quitting doing things that are not part of their contract the website entrepreneur.com defines quite quitting as follow so this website by the way entrepreneur it means people who create companies and people who create jobs so they are not uh, workers they are not employees they are entrepreneurs and uh, that's the meaning so this site defines quiet quitting as follows quiet quitting is the process of coming to work to achieve the minimum requirements of your role in the time that you are there than leaving so process process you should know this word by now Quiet quitting is the process of coming. Hmm. So requirement, maybe you don't know this. Requirement means what is expected of you, right? What does what is what is expected from you in that job? That those expectations are the requirements that you need to meet, that you need to uh, fulfill. And achieve means to accomplish, to do something. So here. You only do the minimum thing, minimum that you are allowed to do without losing your job. I think quite quitting that is that. And no offers of overtime. You don't do overtime. So, so overtime means extra hours. No stepping outside your designated uh, obligations. Obligation means responsibility. So you only do your responsibilities and you don't do anything else in this quiet quitting thing no going the extra mile this is an idiom going the extra mile it means doing something extra that's that's actually not expected of you but you do it anyway you do something extra which is actually a good thing in most cases but here you don't do it it's the silent withdrawal of extra labor to mitigate what are perceived as unreasonable pressures. This is a difficult sentence. There are a lot of difficult words, and so we will uh, we will look at this one. It's the silent withdrawal. Withdrawal means uh, taking something out. So here, so for example, withdraw withdrawing money means taking money out of the bank. For example, withdrawal of extra labor. Labor means 
workforce, let's say, similar to workforce, you take out the extra work, uh, you, you take out the extra work to, to, to do what? To mitigate, mitigate, it means, uh, maybe re redirect, maybe, mitigate, not redirect, but, okay, mitigate is to, make it lighter right we make it lighter so you make the job lighter you make the job easier by uh, and and how do you do that you withdraw you you withdraw your workforce you take out your workforce and what do you make lighter what, what is it that you are making lighter you are making lighter you are mitigating what are what are perceived as unreasonable pressures so reasonable means it makes sense, right? It is normal. And unreasonable, it's not normal. It's not, it doesn't make any sense in your opinion. That's unreasonable. So for things that are perceived as unreasonable pressures, so if they want too much of you at work, so it, or in this case, whoever is doing that, they actually do this. They do the minimum. And it's interesting because you can't, Keep bosses, I don't think they can put everything to every little detail to the contract, right? You, If you just do the minimum, the bare minimum, you want to be fired, I think, basically, right? It's And that's why it's called quiet quitting, I think, because this is just wanting to be fired, right? It's not, it doesn't make any sense uh, to me. Quiet quitting has increased in popularity since the coronavirus pandemic. This is an easy sentence. Let's move on. People are reassessing their attitudes towards work. Reassess. Okay. Assess means evaluate, calculate, think about. That's assessment. That's assessing. Reassessing is uh, doing that assessment again. So people are reassessing their attitudes. Attitude means your approach, your how you think and how you behave towards a certain thing is your attitude. People are reassessing their attitudes towards work. They have decided to achieve a more fulfilling uh, work-life balance and focus on focus on avoiding job burnout. Fulfilling, fulfilling maybe this one is a word that you don't know. Fulfilling, it, it means it makes you happy. It makes you not, not only happy, but happy, proud, you, you don't feel empty, empty inside, right? You feel like you are doing something actually. That's uh, fulfilling. So they, so many people here, it says that have decided, they have decided to achieve a more fulfilling work-life balance and focus on avoiding job burnout. And burnout is also a term that's, uh, it means, okay, if you, if you are burnt out, it means you work too hard for too long. You didn't do anything to relax. You didn't do anything to rest. And you went like that for three months, six months, one year, two years, three years, and you suddenly burn out. And then burnout means you don't want to do anything. You want to lie in bed all day. You have no energy. To, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to answer your calls, etc., etc. So it's a state that's close to depression almost. I think. I'm not an expert on depression, but I think. Workers are jettisoning unpaid duties they once voluntarily carried out in their workplaces. So jettisoning, here it means throw out, throw it out. Right? So, let, uh, so workers are throwing out, so not doing unpaid duties that uh, they once voluntarily carried out. Voluntarily means on their own will, right? They wanted to, they, they did, they did them. So they weren't really paid for them according to the contract, according to their job definition, but they still did them in their workplaces. Carry out, by the way, this is also a phrase. Carry out is, it means doing something basically, but it is generally used with tasks, right? Carrying out a task. So uh, that's that. They do the bare minimum and leave at five on the dot. Bare minimum, 
So they all so bare minimum bare means normally bare me has different meanings. Bare means naked. That's one meaning. It means here it means only, right? So they do the only minimum, just the minimum. So only just here it means something like that. They only do the minimum and leave at five on the dot. And five on the dot it means five zero zero. They leave, right? It's finished for them. Some employers are responding with what is being termed as quiet firing. So how are the employers responding? They are responding with what is being termed as, so this is also a new term, which is called quiet firing. And this, then the explanation, this is when bosses try to get employees to leave. Okay, so bosses don't fire the employees but they do things that will annoy the employees and make them leave on their own right because from what i understand this quiet quitting thing is they are basically wanting to be fired the employees right they want the employers to fire them but then the employers are okay i i won't fire you i won't fire you because if you fire i think i think you have to pay compensation uh, but in this case, they don't fire you, and they they say they do things that will make the employee quit. So what do they do? They do this, but by not raising salaries, so they don't raise salaries. Disregarding employees' ideas, disregard means not care. So they don't care. So if the employee says something, he says an idea, he wants something, they completely don't care about it, right? They disregard it and omitting them from meetings omitting means excluding them so include means to add some something to something and exclude is the opposite of include it means to uh, leave something out so omit is similar om omit has a similar meaning so they leave those employees out from the meetings they don't raise their salary they disregard their ideas and uh, a LinkedIn poll found that 48% of employees in a survey have seen quite firing in a workplace, in the workplace. Poll, it means, poll is the thing that you take many people's ideas and, and give them different choices and find out what people think about a certain topic. So a LinkedIn poll found that 48% of employees in a survey, survey is the poll basically uh, it has different meanings but survey it means survey it, it also has a verb meaning surveying people or surveying something it means watching something actually but in this case it, it is talking about the poll so in a survey they have seen 48% uh, of employees have seen quite firing in the workplace okay, it's interesting now for people who do quite quitting it's normal for the employers to do quite firing i think but uh if the if the employers do quite firing just to not give the compensation uh, when they fire people that's not cool not good yeah it's interesting work relationships real life relationships they are not ideal everything is not as we want all right uh that's it Below I will put some gifts for you to for you if you you just give your email and then there are some gifts I, I didn't put them yet but I will put them in the coming days and yeah we will continue from here take care bye bye.